So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today we have an interesting one. So I woke up to a message on my Discord, uh, a video linked to me, a video by Royal Cubs TV, which I'll link down below within the video description. If you guys are into those XP glitches, check him out. Now he uploaded a video showcasing with the DDoS attacks that the servers have been hit with uh, that Hot fixes are being rolled back, patches are being rolled back, and therefore certain dungeons are back to their prime statuses. Now this we are going to test out live. Now the way it's supposedly achieved, I don't know. You have to turn uh, cross play off, which cross play and cross network play are both off, as you can see right here. So we're going to save these. We're going to go in because I'm literally right outside of this dungeon, guys, and we're going to test this out. So let's go. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So pretty warning, my build is work in progress. It's not perfect yet. I can't run these things as efficient as some of these OP rogues, druids, and barbarians out there. It just don't work like that with a necromancer. But what I will say is my build is pretty powerful. But again, it's work in progress, but it's made for survivability and taking out groups of ads. And no, I'm not using bone like everybody in there. Nan, I tried bone, can make super powerful things with bone, but I want to try something different. So we've gone with blood corpse, we paired these together. Some beautiful combinations which just take out groups of enemies and ermidors. But yeah, all for XP numbers. Now, what I will say is for anybody who runs the Iron Hold dungeon, which I'll actually showcase to you guys where this is on the map. I didn't do that, did I? Just in case this does work. So the iron hold is located right here. You can see where I'm at. Where I'm at, people. Right there. And I'm getting clapped by something. Now, uh, I use this dungeon very, very often. I'll know if it's changed. Supposedly, there's even more packs of elites now, which I can't really see being the case. I mean, if the servers have been rolled back, I think many, many things would have been rolled back with them. I'm not sure if it's just a ploy to get clicks. I mean, I don't know. Either way, he's uploaded a great dungeon, a dungeon I swear by. I always said, even after the nerfs, this place is still unbelievable. Now, the way you'd normally farm this isn't how I'm doing it now. I'm just killing shit. You want to run through this first area and grab this key, this jailer's key, and then progress to the second area because that's where all the goodness happens, people. That's where all that goodness happens, people. That is all that good shit. Okay, so there's the jailer's key. So let's go. So, so down here, I'm expecting to see at least like it was before. If you remember the Iron Horde, how it was back in the day. Back before they, they nerfed it into the ground, although it's still great. It was unreal. It was a barrokin. It was full of elites. I can't believe that's going to be the case now. I, just, I, I refuse to believe it. So we go through here, grab this, progress on which way I've got to go this way. Will you guys leave me alone? Again, my build is made for survivability and damage. It isn't made for speed running anything. Please keep that in mind. But you'll see the damage it can do. I can just stand there in the middle of the room with my unique stellar guard and just spam those corpses. They hold me missile absolutely everything. It's just easy work. Everything's easy work. Now, what I will say is also, guys, if you plan on farming dungeons, farm them. But once you get to around level 60 or 70, I really would start doing nightmares and making sure you're completing them to get those glyphs uh, and upgrade them. Those glyphs, sorry. Upgrade them because they're, they're important to you. They're important to your end game build. They're important to everything you need to be doing. So I'm just going to run through here, if it's going to let me know it's not, so I'm just going to kill these bastards, get out of my way. Get out of my fucking way! Now normally, prior, pre-patch, this place used to be absolutely rammer jammed with elites, to a point where you couldn't move in this room. Uh, let's just run down here, making sure we ain't missing nothing. I mean, to be honest, it's... Okay, what's going on here? Uh, well, I can't remember, was it like this before? I mean, I think it was. I think what it was, there's like four or five groups like that post. Uh, Pre-fucking nerf. 
Yeah, there was definitely more than that. I don't think much has changed there, to be honest. I don't think nothing's changed there. I think, to be honest, I think post nerf as well, there was a couple, maybe even one more stack of elites somewhere, which we'll try and find. Because I remember this area being so ram full of enemies. You couldn't move. You could, did I pick up that thing? No, I didn't. I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure anything has changed. I'm going to grab that thing. Where even is it? Back in that room. You guys fucking leave me alone, you bastards. Fucking hell. Okay, so let's go again. Let's go again. But even still, guys, the Iron Hold is a great dungeon to farm. If you can do dungeons efficiently, if you can run through them, if you can run fast, this is one of the best still in the game, in my opinion. It's all about that efficiency, though. What the hell is that thing doing spawning inside that? Okay, normally down here, there's another group of ads, which is normal as well. So we'll see. Sometimes there can be an event down here, which makes it seem like there's way more than there should be. Uh, but... I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anything has changed. So let's go. Let's go through here. Uh, all seems normal to me. All seems normal to me, people. I haven't missed nowhere. Just that one corner up there. But yet yeah, this seems exactly the same. Let me just make sure as he says to do. Everything's off. Everything's off. But yeah, I think I think it's just what it is. It's um a lot of people didn't use this farm, didn't use this dungeon after they nerfed it, so can't forget what it was like. See, these that other group I was looking for. These are normally here. There's normally two groups, maybe even a third sometimes if there's an elite farm. I mean a like a shrine, an event. There's normally a few more. Yeah, I don't think anything's changed, guys. I think people are just being carried away. They stopped using it, like I say, when it got nerfed. They've come back into it and think, wow, actually, you know what? This is crazy. Nah, this is the same. The Iron Hold is the exact same as what it was before, people. Ow! It's not very nice, motherfuckers. Now, this, if you can, if you, I mean, if people want to farm dungeons, if you can get a Nightmare Sigil, which will make the enemy three levels above you within the Iron Hold, it's a great, great farm. If you know how to do that, if you know how to farm the Nightmare Dungeons, it's quite straightforward, to be honest. I've posted about five videos on how you do this. But yes, guys, to me, this hasn't changed. I don't really need to go any further, to be honest. I mean, got my eight-minute mark, as you fucking do on YouTube with that algorithm. you got to get those videos to eight minutes. Uh, but yes, there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Do you use Iron Hold? If you do, you'll know that this hasn't changed. Uh, I don't think there's been any kind of like rollback or anything like that. But yeah, there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.